Fish King fans, another glorious day. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Let's take a look right quick, y'all. Let's take a look. God's serenity, man. Peace. Happiness. Beautiful morning, man. And Neptune running because he didn't want to get his feet. <laughs> hey, man, truly, the final things in life are free. You know, you out here, it's, it's, it's a beautiful morning. I snuck out, got away from the job to do some sea mullet and some surf fishing. And, man, I just want to take time to thank God just for all he is all he's done and all he's created with the works of his hands man i'm telling you happiness is a state of it's a mentality it's a state of mind happiness is not in money it's not now don't get me wrong it's good to have money but if you base your happiness off money and materialistic things you'll never be happy you'll never be complete you'll never be full you'll always be to the extent of the material and not just being happy just because you love where you are, what you are, and how you are doing. So be sure you make happiness a state of mind and not base it off the things materialistic and things of that nature. That's true happiness, man, true happiness. That's why I love fishing so much. I find peace, I find happiness. Fishing has kept me off the streets <laughs> from doing a lot of crazy stuff, and I thank God that he's made me a fisherman and also a fisher of men. But nonetheless, man, God is good. Guys, I'm out here on the surf, on the coast right now. Uh, getting ready to go for some sea mullet. It's a little early, but you know, I wanted to get out here and, 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 and try it anyway, man. We're gonna be using a high-low setup today. Fresh shrimp, uh, but maybe some sand flea attached to it. But nonetheless, it's, it's, it's a beautiful day, man. Will we catch anything? Eh, I don't know. But truth be told, I don't care, because I'm here, you know what I mean? I'm here and we here. Hope everybody's been doing good. Hope everybody's been staying prayed up, man. Uh, Fish King's checking in. Thank you guys thus far. It's your first time checking us out. Hey, we would love to have you along with our journey, man. Hit that subscribe, either hit the like, share, whatever you choose to do, by all means. If you don't, hey, just sit back and enjoy this video with us. You know what I mean? It's good to have you guys. Up. But enough chit chat. You see that sun? Sun's getting ready to top. Top the peak of the horizon, per se. We got high tide right now. We got the pole set up. Let's go to work. Ah. All right, guys, got Big Neptune setting up, getting his stuff together. We'll get ready to cast these poles out. My boy Chris, he's at the job right now, making that money, taking care of home. So, gotta keep it going. We're gonna do what we do. Let's go to work. All right, let's get this stuff unpacked. Got my chair. Always gotta have a chair. <laughs> Take it from me. Fish don't bite all the time. So, always have Something to chill and relax in. When you got a chair, you make it intentional. <laughs> Put that there. All right. Okay. All right. So let's start off with. We get a number three weight. Some weights, some pyramid weights. I normally have Sputnik weights, but I don't have any today. So we'll just use our. Regular three ounce weight, wind's not up. So I probably can honestly can get away with a two, but I'm gonna use this number three. Three ounce weight. You got Rambo in there? Big nip too, huh? You got Rambo in there? Rambo? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I my need, man. I, I forgot wait, wait, it's home. it's in it's in my truck. But I got uh if, if you got a knife then that's all I need. Yeah, it's in the truck though. Uh, you want to go get it? It's in the back seat. I mean, the back. Oh, I can go get it, man. I can get it. Okay. Yeah. It's. I think Rambo should be in the back. Should you, be. You ain't got no knife with you. 
I got scissors. Oh, that's what I do. Okay, yo, 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 yo. Oh, 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 you, you took my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, ten four. No, ah, no, ah. Yeah, I got those right there, bro. You be cutting your bait too with them? Oh yeah. Okay, they want right. number three dollars. Huh? They want number three dollars. Alright, that's it, that'll work. Alright guys, so my setup is simple. I got this tsunami airwave. This is my eight foot rod, medium light action. Topped off with a uh three ounce weight, and these are my own hollow jigs that I tie up myself, man. Uh I got owner hooks number six, and I got a little small bead float. I noticed bead floats are good for pumping though. See more that also. Let's uh let's get one in the water and let it do what it do. Tell you what, man, I bought these from the sports shop. Three dollars. Can't beat it. Mm. 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 They ain't cut like wildfire, bro. Don't get them, dog. Don't get right. Alright. Get our bait put on. You talking to the people? I am. <laughs> oh, Neptune, boy. Big Neptune. That up there. This one, I think I'm gonna just put shrimp. Okay. And I'm gonna cast this one. Go to the far end to cast this one. Get this bad boy on out here. Need to get some more line on this one. Doing out this part, I do all my Spanish and blues fishing with. Ah. I almost hit a bird. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, be in prayer that we get us one. <laughs> first pole down, first pole set up. All right, we'll let it do what it do. Let's get the other two. All right, guys, so off camera, ended up nailing this stingray. Y'all know me, I ain't crazy about stingray. Tell with care. Always. Things get you, buddy. They pack a punch. I ain't never got stung, but plenty of buddies of mine have. They talk like it's not no joke, man. They talk like it's not a joke. All right, let me reset. I think we're getting a hit on this pole on the end. Oh yeah, we're getting tapped, we're getting tapped. Something's up there, I don't know what, let's find out. I hope it's a mullet, I don't think it is. But... It feels weird, but let's be safe. May not be nothing up here. Feels like, well, I don't know guys. Feels like it's nothing up here, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't know if it's something up here or not. No, it's not. Thought it was. I'd rather be safe than sorry, though. Feels like something was hitting it. Is that a hit? No, oh, just ways, I think. Oh no, we gotta hit, we gotta hit, we gotta hit. <laughs> I think we got him, y'all. I think we got whatever it is. It's not a head shape, so it may be another ray. I hope it's, I hope it's not. But I don't feel a head shape, so it must be. 
No, I don't feel a head. Yeah, it's a ray. I don't feel a head shake, so it's got to be a ray. Got to be a ray. Oh, not a ray. Big blue, a big blowfish. Figure those will be out around this time. Yep, figured those would be out. Gotta wash the teeth. They will get you. A lot of people call these the chicken of the sea. Try to debate if I want to keep them. These are a little small. I'm throwing back. I'll just wait and get another one. All right, let's get some shrimp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ. Sheesh. Sheesh. Boy. Huh. Good gracious. What is this? Boy, I almost lost him. That's a skate, man. Yeah, that's a skate. I can feel. Sheesh. Huh. Boy. I just knew I lost that joke. <laughs> I'm gonna have to loosen up there. Yeah, that's a skate. A nice skate. That's a they're good pulls, but they get all my dad dirty nerves. Butthole. Get all my nerves. I can't stand these jokes. Thought I might have had a black drill. Look, look at my pole, guys. Jeez. <sighs> Dang. Oh yeah, that's a heavy candidate there. Bunch of skates and blowfish. Sheesh! Boy, I thought that pole was gone, boy. Tell you what, he wants to get me with that tail. I ain't gonna let us, but if I can help it. Mine got loose. Oh, we got a fish on. Don't know what it is. Ah. Oh, yeah. Definitely got a fish on. I don't feel a head shake, so I don't, I don't know what it is yet. Ah, uh, it's probably another dang puffer fish. Yep. Puffer or skate. Uh, really hoping that we had mullet. Yeah, it feels like another puffer or skate. Yeah, it's a puffer. A puffer that don't want to come in, of course. Oh, it's two puffers. <laughs> Didn't even know one was up there. <sighs> so, yeah, two puffers. That's a good size one, though. See. 
I gotta keep a few puffs in the day. Fry them up. Some french fries, maybe. Fry a few of them up. Bumper fish are real good eating. It's all the chicken up the This one wants to be wrapped up. Gotta wash those teeth. Oh yeah, it's all right. They gotta cook a few of them up, guys. Probably some more puffers. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fry a few of these up my way. Oh yeah, got a hit up here. Definitely, I think it's another blowfish though. Oh, I got a fish and a phone call. <laughs> How many of y'all do that? Have a fish and a phone call. Yeah, that's another blowfish. Yeah, no head shake, just dead weight. Yep, there he is. He's okay size. Bullfish. Oh yeah, they're okay size. Didn't they hit down here too? Yep. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Fish. Well, this may be a skate. Yeah, I felt a little bit of tug back. Yeah, I think this was a skate, guys. Yeah. Yeah, this is a skate. Oh, yeah, definitely a skate. Ah! Yeah, definitely escape. Pain in the butt. The day was so-so. It's pretty slow. Uh, we didn't catch any mullet. We caught a whole bunch of uh, blowfish and a bunch of stingray, but I didn't want to bore you guys uh, the entire time just catching blowfish. So I said, you know what? I'm going to just come on back to the house get some footage on how I cleaned my blowfish and we're going to do a catch and cook. I'm going to fry these things up and show you guys how I prepare them. You know, just some good entertainment going on. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, uh, by the way, let's see this. Look at this. Look at this. See this? My grass is just getting ridiculously hot. It's not even time for that yet, man, but I got to get ready to cut this grass. Grass is growing like crazy, man. It's still March. So I got to get out here after I'm done with this. I got to start cutting my yard and all this good stuff, man. I gotta do a lot of yard work. I know a lot of you men out there gotta do the same thing, but I got a lot of stuff I gotta haul off, trees and all that other good stuff, you know, but either way, nonetheless, let's get down to business. Let's see. All right, we've got, uh, let me pull, I think I'm gonna pull my card in here. Now, blowfish are pretty, honestly, pretty simple to clean. Uh, not hard at all. 
No. So they're pretty easy to clean. Uh, we got about one, two. Size. Fish. Yeah, four and five. All right, so also, guys, check this out. Right, I got fresh shrimp here, just got purchased today. I don't throw this stuff away. I'm gonna go clean these off. I'm gonna put those in the front end, also, <laughs> and leave the wasting bait. I could keep them and use them another day, but me, I just like to use fresh shrimp. So, anyway. All right, so we've got, let's turn them the right way. Let's turn them the right way. Don't want no half stepping. All right, we've got, uh, we've got five beautiful blowfish. Love the coloration of the eyes. Guys, this is really truly good eating. I don't know if you ever guys guys ever had any, but I'm gonna show you the way that I prepare them. And uh, yeah, let's go to work. So the easiest way to clean blowfish, guys, is in the, it's, it's, it's it's plenty of ways for one. This is the way that I do mines. What I like to do is I like to run my finger literally down here around the back until I find the back of the spine. And then what I'll do is I'll come and I'll make a small slit. Okay, now once I make that slit, what I like to do is I come and I bend the fish, just like that. Once I bend the fish, I'll take my fork and I like to stick my fork right in the back of it. All right, protruding just like here. And then what I do is I come, I bend, and as I'm bending down, I'm pulling at the same time, just like so. And what you're going to end up with is <laughs> just like so <clears throat> and i'm left with a beautiful as i call it drumstick <laughs> that's the easiest way to do it all my guts my innards sit right here these bad boys like they got a few eggs in them so looks like they're getting ready for the migration as well um, like I said, again, back here, we're going to go behind the fin, I mean, behind the skull, all right, we're going to pierce down some, we're going to get right through that muscle, that bone here, crack down, and we're going to peel back, just like so, and honestly, I don't even really have to do all that, I'm going to stick my fork in the meat, and I'm going to pull down as I pull up, just like this, mm-hmm. And out comes the beautiful meat, just like that. This is the stuff I don't want. <laughs> Put that in here. Real simple, guys. And what we're left with are the beautiful drumsticks that a lot of people are crazy about. We call the fish, the, the chicken of the sea. Right. Put this back some. And I'm pretty sure there's tons of ways to do it, guys. This is just the way that I do it. Real simple. Come, pull, pull down the back, just like so. And we just walk it all the way down until we expose the meat. Just like that. Real simple. Now, I've already cleaned, what, three? Real easy fish to clean, man. Don't throw these back. Guys, I know a lot of people don't like them, but I love them. Tastes real good. Come here, do the same thing. Straight down the back. Peel it over, pull the flesh right off. Real simple. Now you may have a little bit of residual. That's nothing, just to pull it off. All right, there. We'll put this up. And we're gonna do this last one. All right, find that head bone. Straight down, pull the meat back, just like so. Fork in, break, then we're gonna pull it straight out. Look at that, man. You could get no easier than that. Look how easy that was. <laughs> Real easy. 
all right guys so what we have here uh, we've got five beautiful drumsticks oh look at all that meat man you cannot go wrong with that meat meat oh man i'm gonna season these bad boys here it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome hey son all right so now these are all our scraps now if you had crab box if you had crab pots this would be good chum or whatever the case may be probably good sharp bake too i'm sure so let's uh get rid of this sit this down all right we got that clean let's spray the table down and then we'll get ready to get situated let me get a pot for these bad boys all right guys i'm in the house uh we just got a fish clean everything's cleaned up i got cleaned up uh everything's looking pretty good look check me out right i got more lighting in here because i've been pretty you know i didn't have a lot of light in here so uh for the most part man i hope you guys can see me pretty good hope it's not too bright too dull don't worry about the shadow let's get cooking you understand what i'm saying all right we in the house i've got my fish clean now check these out these are the blue fish check that meat out right that's good 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 thick pieces man they look like little drumsticks northern puffer fish now be mindful, you know, there's another puffer fish that's called a smooth puffer fish uh, in certain areas, sorry about the TV, in certain areas, but those are the ones that are poisonous, but these are not poisonous because they're northern uh, puffer fish. Uh, these are good to eat. And it's not even the meat that gets poisonous in the other ones. I think it's the organs, like you can't, you gotta be careful with dealing with those, but I forgot the name of it. I think it's like a fruit, fruit. I can't remember. Either way, nonetheless, look, let's get these things seasoned. Let's get these things in some grease. All right, we got our puffer fish here. So check out my seasoning. Garlic pepper, a little bit of Cajun, and a little bit of Old Bay. Now we just gonna slightly drizzle a little bit up here. Just a tad. You don't want too much seasoning on your fish because as I always tell you guys, your fish will taste like your seasoning and you won't taste the fish. In other words, you put fish on your seasoning instead of putting seasoning on your fish. <laughs> Just a little bit up there. Like the coat, now we're gonna do the other sides. Just gonna coat it just lightly. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. A little bit of old bay. Just a hint of the major. Garlic, garlic pepper. <coughs> Ooh, thought it felt to my head, excuse me. Honey, I added some extra seasoning to the fish. <laughs> all right, don't worry about it. Okay. All right, we got our fish seasoned. Now what we're gonna do, let's close these up. We're gonna keep it very, very simple. Y'all know me, man. Y'all know me, y'all know me. I'm old school, right? I don't put my bat in a plate and then batter the fish. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm a man that loves to have his fish, his meat completely battered. And so I always put my batter in a plastic bag, drop the stuff in there, shake it real good. That's how I roll. You understand what I'm saying? Check this out. We're going to take it and see if the grease is hot. Oh yeah, she hot. You ever drop that batter in there like that, she starts to, sit, uh, she starts to sizzle a little bit. And you know you're working. So let's get these bad boys good. Got some fries in the <clears throat> air fry over here. We're gonna eat those also with it. A little simple meal, man. The mullet should be coming in anytime soon, but right now, they probably already starting to show up. But right now, you know, I caught blowfish. I wanted to go ahead and get a video out of you guys. Look at the coating on that. That's what you want all the way around. We're gonna come and just gonna simply drop them in. Just like that. Oh yeah. These are gonna be awesome. These are gonna be lit lit. Okay, get these two more. Now, these shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna say about 10 minutes, five minutes on each side. We're gonna take these bad boys off. Drop the last one here. Just like so. Alright, drop this one. 
All right, we got the fish in. Wash the plate out. Now, sometimes people like to cut the tails off. I don't cut the tails off because if you fry those tails good, a lot of y'all people that eat fish, you already know. It's just like bacon almost, or some type of skin. Love it. Really. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Guys, this fish is looking good. All right. Looking good, baby. Looking good. All right, if you're cooking long enough, let's get them up. All right. Nice. Get this bad boy here. Get that grease drain off. Check this out, right? So the family, they've never had blowfish before. They're used to me cooking, you know, sheep's head and puppy drum and all these other, you know, big game fish. We're gonna get them to try these tonight. Let's see what we can do. Okay, guys, I've got the family right here. Okay, so right here, we have my beautiful wife, Miss Demita Joe Washington. <laughs> <laughs> That's my son, AKA J. Kyle, AKA the young one and my beautiful daughter Emia Christiana. So, first of all, <laughs> okay, you're being foolish right now. Y'all need to cut it out. So, all right, so y'all check this out, right? I got I got the fish prepared, so they'll eat it. Uh, we got fries. We've got I put a little cilantro on the top. I mean, I'm sorry, cut up chopped chives on top of it. And you can't do anything without Texas Pete, right? You guys have never had blowfish before, correct? Y'all used to eating what? We know fish. What kind, son? Crappy. Crappy. Well, okay. Crappy. Sheep's head. Sheep's head. What's your favorite fish? Flounder. Flounder. But we all know flounder is not in season. You only allow one. We ain't even gonna get into that. All right. So here we go. Blowfish. I want you guys to each pick up a piece, small piece. You never had it before. But let's try it. Let's see. Let's see how it is. We got hot sauce here. If you guys want to try it, go ahead, son. Dig it. You, you need a fork. You need a fork. They're boozy, y'all. Okay. Everybody need a fork. I'll tell you, we'll get mama again. Okay, okay, okay. Mama looks true. They never have, they've never had. Okay, we know the fries, baby. Okay, but. Uh huh? 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 What do you think? Mm -hmm. You think it's good? Mm -hmm. It's good? You? You? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> what do you think? It's good. It's good? <laughs> and you, beautiful. Mm. How you feel? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good, right? Just right. Blowfish, right? Northern, northern, northern puffer fish. Very good. They call it the chicken of the sea. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So look, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna dig deep. We're gonna get our fingers dirty, and we're gonna start chowing down. Y'all look at this one more time. Right. Awesome, awesome. So look, man. Nonetheless, thank you guys for tuning in. It's always, it's always a pleasure. Always an honor. Always awesome and epic to be and to be my daughter has no sense to be involved with you guys like i said great things to come 2024 this year keep pushing keep striving keep doing what you do god is faithful above all things y'all know the routine y'all know what we do next time i'm pretty sure it's gonna be sea mullets uh i had a report on my pdl on my kayak my drive actually went bad on me don't know if it was my fault but i put a lot of abuse to it so it held off for four and a half years but i sent it in they honored their five-year warranty. Look, Old Town Predator PDL. Guys, be sure to get your Old Town. Nothing like it. Hobies are good. They're just too, they're too high dollar for me. So Old Town, top grade. I've took them through storms, but nonetheless, I'm waiting for that to come in. Sooner they get in, I'm getting back out on the water. We're gonna keep, we're gonna look, we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it doing it what it do. But 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 nonetheless, keep God first and above everything. And you guys always know. Tight <laughs> 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 <laughs>
nice. <laughs> I am so proud of what they said. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love you guys so much. Peace out. Hmm. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>